Hola a todos! Hello everyone! Welcome to the second video in the Practice Spanish with Meme series. And today we're going to be practicing with two commands and specifically practicing on making them negative and affirmative. We'll practice how to conjugate for either one. So just to orient ourselves, we know that if we conjugate the verb to a command form, we're either telling someone to do or not do something. And today we're working with two commands or informal commands. There are also formal commands that you would use with people that you address as usted, but today we're just focusing on the two commands. And if I use the word afirmativo, afirmativo, that's like saying, see, sí, yes, do this. And just the opposite, we can have mandatos negativos, mandatos negativos, negative commands, telling someone not to do something. And it's easy because you'll see the word no. So let's get started with our first example. Mira, yo también tengo una cesta. Mira, yo también tengo una cesta. Look, I also have a basket. So where is the command here? Mira. ¿Y qué es el infinitivo de mira? What is the infinitive form of mira? Mirar, mirar, to look, mirar, to look. So if we say the command mira, it's telling someone, look. So is this afirmativo o negativo? That's right, afirmativo, because we're saying, look, yes, do it. So now, just to practice, because we know with our two commands, we need to make a different verb conjugation, whether it's affirmative or negative. So let's practice making this a negative to com command. So here's a nice uh, illustration of a formula you can use to make it negative. Let's walk through it. Put the word no, go to the yo conjugation of the present tense, so yo miro, then take off the o and add the opposite ending. Okay, so mirar is an AR verb, so we're going to add ES, ES. So the negative form would be no mires, no mires. It's a command saying don't look. Right, let's try again. Animal, aprende a conducir. Animal, aprende a conducir. Animal, learn to drive. So, can you find the command? Right, aprende. Y el infinitivo, aprender, aprender, to learn. So, aprende a conducir, learn to drive. This one's an ER verb, so let's practice making it uh, negative again. So use our same formula. Go to yo conjugation in the present tense. Yo aprendo. Drop the O. And for this opposite ending, aprender is an ER verb. So we're going to add the opposite AS. A -S -A. So negative would be no aprendas. No aprendas. Don't learn. Okay, let's see. Cambia tu la tele. Cambia tu la tele. You change the TV, like the, the channel. So here, by the way, this tu, we don't necessarily need it, right? We already have the command. We know it's saying you. But this is contrasting. You change the channel, not me. That's why it says cambia tu. Cambia tu la tele, que me da frío sacar la mano. You change the TV channel because uh, it makes me cold to take my hand out, like to take it out of the covers. So can you find the command here? Cambia, muy bien, cambia. Y el infinitivo, cambiar, cambiar, to change. So, cambia, change. Cambia tú, you change the channel. 
So can we make it a negative? So remember that formula? No cambies. No cambies. Muy bien. No cambies la tele. No cambies la tele. Don't change the channel, the TV channel. Okay. Suelta la comida y yo te dejaré respirar. Suelta la comida y yo te dejaré respirar. Let go of the food and I'll let you breathe. Let go of the food and I will let you breathe. So, el mandato, suelta, y el infinitivo, soltar. Soltar is to let go of. But here, this O, we have a O, and in the command, we have suelta, U-E. That's right. Es un verbo de cambio raíz. Un verbo de cambio raíz. Let's make it negative. No sueltes. El negativo, no sueltes. Don't let go of. Okay. No sigas el láser, Carl. Eso es lo que los humanos quieren. No sigas el láser. Don't follow the laser, Carl. That's what the humans want. Oh. Okay, so no sigas. Oh, es afirmativo o negativo. Negativo. Right? We have the no. So, what would the infinitive be? Remember, with negative commands, we're using the opposite ending. So here, no sigas, we have an as ending. So we know whatever the infinitive, it must be an er or ir verb, right? Seguir, seguir, to follow. So no sigas, don't follow. Seguir. And here we have otro verbo de cambio raíz. Right? Seguir is a stem-changing verb. Now let's make it afirmativo. Afirmativo. Sigue. Sigue. Follow. Bien. Okay. Sal conmigo. Sal conmigo. Go out with me. But sal is also salt. Sal conmigo. Well, el infinitivo. Salir, salir, to leave or go out. But this one uh, looks a little different than the others, right? It's only three letters. It looks irregular, irregular. That's right. Sal is one of our eight irregular verbs for two commands. And we have eight here. And you can remember them with the sentence, Vin Diesel has ten weapons, eh? Ben, di, sal, as, ten, ve, pon, se. Ben, di, sal, as, ten, ve, pon, se. So here we have sal from salir. Right? And it's irregular just in the affirmative. To form the negative, we can just use our same formula that we've been using with all the other ones. So let's go to our yo conjugation in the present tense. Yo salgo. Oh, here we have another something special. Salir is a yogo verb. That means when you go to the yo conjugation in the present tense, you get a G from somewhere. Go. Yo salgo. So we take off the O, but we got to leave that G. And then we do the opposite ending. And that gives us no salgas. No salgas. Don't leave, don't go out. Okay, next example. No veas la pelota, sé la pelota. No veas la pelota, don't see the ball, sé la pelota, be the ball. <laughs> and here we have two commands. One is negative, no veas, el infinitivo, ver, verb, to see. Let's change no veas to the affirmative, el afirmativo, ve, ve, ve la pelota, see the ball. And next we have, se la pelota, se, 
And if you remember the Vin Diesel sentence, this is another one of our eight irregulars. El infinitivo de se, ser, ser, muy bien. And notice here it has an accent. Y el negativo, no seas, no seas. So here we can see here, se, irregular, no seas. Ten a tus amigos cerca y a tus enemigos todavía más cerca. Ten a tus amigos cerca. Have your friends close y a tus enemigos todavía más cerca. And your enemies even closer. So, el mandato ten... Otro mandato irregular, el infinitivo, tener, muy bien, tener, es irregular. But when we want to make it negative, just like salir, we're going to use the same formula we've been using. Yo tengo, take off the O, opposite ending, no tengas, no tengas. So tener, afirmativo, ten, irregular. Negativo, no tengas. Ok. Déjame entrar, por favor. Déjame entrar. Let me in, please. Let me enter, please. Déjame. Ok. Well, what's the infinitive of this verb? Dejar. But we also have a pronoun here. This is a direct object pronoun. Let me. Dejar. May, so we need to learn where we put the pronouns with our commands. It depends. Let's see with another example. ¿Dónde ponemos los pronombres? Elmira dice, abrázame. Abrázame. Hug me. Abrázame es afirmativo, ¿sí? Mandato afirmativo. We see, where does the pronoun go? Después, después del verbo. Y él dice, no me abraces, no me abraces. Mandato negativo, no. Y el pronombre, antes, antes del verbo, no me abraces. Okay, so with our negative commands, our pronoun goes before the verb, but with our affirmative, it goes after the verb. No spacers, just stick it right on to the end of the verb. So aquí, like we saw, déjame entrar is dejar plus me, but for our negative, we're going to put the word no, then our pronoun, and then the command with the opposite ending. No me dejes, no me dejes. That me, could mean no me dejes entrar, don't let me in. No me dejes also means don't leave me. Mm -hmm. Ok, otro ejemplo de un mandato con pronombre. Caminando en la calle cuando. Walking in the street when. Lávame, lávame. Wash me. Y el infinitivo. Lavar, to wash. And me, the pronoun. So let's make it a negative. First we start with the word no. Then pronombre. And then opposite ending. No me laves. No me laves. Otro ejemplo con pronombre. Interesante. Dime más cosas bonitas sobre mí. Interesting. Tell me more nice things about me. Dime, dime. So here, if you recognize, we've got another one of those eight irregulars plus the pronoun me. Tell me. So, D. 
irregular. Y el infinitivo, decir, decir, muy bien. Negativo, no, me, digas, muy bien, no me digas, no me digas, don't tell me, no me digas. Mm -hmm. So we know here, decir is one, another one of those yoga verbs too. Otro ejemplo con no me digas. Se vende hielo. Muy, muy frío. Ice for sale. Very, very cold. No me digas. No me digas. This is... We could interpret it on the other side. Don't tell me. But here it's kind of like saying... You don't say. It's kind of sarcastic because obviously ice is very, very cold. So it's a sarcastic response. So el infinitivo de no me digas, decir y me, y el afirmativo, dime, ¿sí? Dime, di irregular. Relájate, relájate, relax. Todo va a salir bien. Everything's going to come out fine. Relájate. El infinitivo, relajarse, relajarse. Aquí tenemos un pronombre reflexivo. Relajarse es un verbo reflexivo, a reflexive verb with a reflexive pronoun. And where we put it in the negative is just like with the other pronouns we saw. So, relájate, pronoun at the end. Negativo, no te relajes. No te relajes would be don't relax. No te relajes. So, that's all the memes and examples we have for today. Hopefully it helped, but if you have any questions... Feel free to ask in the comments. Gracias por ver el video. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.